podcast. Um, uh, we'll, we'll let you introduce yourself. I know you've done a uh, regular interview with us before, um, but my name's Nick. Um, you have just me again tonight. My brother is kind of doing his dad thing still, um, but kind of introduce yourself um, just real quick um, for people that's new people going to watch uh, later on or whatever, and then we'll kind of jump into everything. Yeah, so first off, thank you for having me back. I'm super excited for tonight. And my name is Ava Gall. I am a 2023 catcher, and I am committed to Stanford. Awesome. And yes, like you said, we, we've had you before in a regular episode. These are called Spotlight, and basically what we do, we have about eight people we're kind of doing this with over the course of uh, a basketball season, softball season, different sports like that, um, and just kind of, kind of talk to you um, through your season and through it, see how things are going and uh, just see what you've been up to and just kind of add a little fun to it. Uh, so first off, since we last talked, um, how's everything been going? Kind of tell me what you've been up to and kind of how everything is. Yeah, so since the last time we talked, um, actually this past weekend, I had a tournament and it was a okay. qualifier for Alliance, which is like the biggest national tournament it takes place over the summer. Yeah. And uh, we ended up going undefeated and qualified. It was an amazing weekend. Um, I hit really, really well. It was just a really great time as a team. And thankfully, it was decently local. It was in Southern California. We didn't have okay. to go too far. And then now my that was all through travel. And so my travel team is dark. And then we have high school tryouts coming up, um, I believe, this Monday. And then that will start or kind of kick off my high school season. Okay. So um, take us through like the tournament too. Like, how are those for you? Like I know, and, 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 you know, your travel, um, we, when the, when we've talked to people about traveling, you know, it can be a lot sometimes, like you said, it was kind of local. Um, so not too much travel, but kind of take me through that tournament. Like, obviously you guys did well, obviously. Um, so how that, how, how was that for you? And, uh, you talked about you hitting well. Um, so just kind of take me through like what a tournament day is like when you have, uh, multiple games and stuff like that. Yeah, so tournament days, especially this past one when it was a qualifier, and there is no pool play. It is okay. straight into a double elimination. And at that point, you want to be prepared to be there all day because, I mean, that's the goal. If you're there yeah. all day, that means you, you're keep you're winning and you're winning and you're winning. And the biggest thing, though, is you want to take it one game at a time. You know, I have to tell myself, like, okay, we could stay here till 6 o'clock, but in reality, you know, first you have to get through this game. Then we have to get through the next one, then the one after that. And it's just kind of taking everything step by step, but also being in, uh, mentally prepared to do whatever it is that you can to win. So, for example, on Sunday, the way that the bracket fell, if we had won our first game, we qualify and we were done for the day okay. or actually for the weekend. But then if we had lost, then we'd have to play again. And at that point, um, you know, our whole team, we came together and we said, hey, you know, we need to leave it all out there. We need to do what we can. This is um, our third weekend in a row trying to qualify. And this is our last chance before high school season. We have to do what we have to do. And it was just really nice to see the team come together and really go out there. So, yeah. Awesome. That is awesome. Yeah, and it's uh, – I've been to a few tournaments uh, here and there watching and everything. And it's um, it, it's just a lot, you know, like uh, how, many, how many games you guys play – um, just all of that stuff. And like you said, it's, I, I would think, and you can, you can kind of answer to this. Um, and you talked about like, Hey, you know, we could be here all day, you know, but we got to take one game. Is it hard to kind of do that? Is it hard to focus on like just that game? Cause I know like your normal coach speak type thing is like, yeah, one game at a time, you know, but is it hard for you as a player to, to do that instead of focusing on like, Hey, we want to be here all day. We could be. Totally. Because there are times where it's like, um, you know, you look at the bracket and you're like, man, we're playing a really tough team. Like we have a really yeah. tough side of the bracket type of thing. So you tell yourself, oh, you know, we can get through this game and this game. Then we'll be possibly playing this um, team and like this game in the bracket. And it's hard because you kind of start thinking ahead. You're like, oh, I'm trying to, um, I'm thinking about possibly my third game of the day when we haven't yeah. even started our first. So it's just kind of a mental battle where, you know, you're planning in your head to be there all day, but at the same time, you have to tell yourself, no, like take a step back Yeah. in a way. So it's, it's definitely not easy, but the more you do it, 
I guess the easier it gets with all things. Yeah, definitely. Um, so now, like you said, you're dark now in your uh, travel season, um, high school coming up. Are you excited for that? How's that looking? I know you said tryouts are coming up because um, I know different states start different times. So kind of how, just talk about how, you know, you're ready for that and kind of how that's looking and everything like that. I am so excited for high school season this year because, I mean, it's senior season. It's my last yeah. one. Um, been, I think I'm going to be the only senior this year. And oh, wow. Yeah, so it's it's really crazy. It's exciting, and it's just it's really nice because I've been playing with a lot of these girls since I was in rec ball and little yeah. league. So it's just nice for everything to come full circle. I started my career with them, and I'm gonna be finishing my San Diego career. We'll say yeah. with them, and I'm just super excited about it. And high school ball, it's mentally challenging because you're. You know, you're going to be playing, you're going to be practicing every single day. There's going to be times where you're playing four games a week. But I feel like that, in a way, is preparing you for college in the spring yeah. season. Because it's it's tough. It's definitely not easy. It's a grind. But I'm just excited to be able to surround myself with a group of girls that I really love, really enjoy. And to be able to represent my town, my community, and my school, and just wear that school on my jersey. Awesome. Love that. Um, so also since the last time we talked, has there been anything, um, you know, because I know I kind of asked this question too, if you had been working on anything, but since the last time we talked and, you know, your tournament your, or your travel, and then has there been anything you've been kind of working on, practicing on, just trying to do more reps of? Is there anything like that for you? Yeah. Um, one thing that I was really trying to work on was um, I get, like stuff in my arm. So uh, like J bands. I, okay, yeah, kind yeah. Of, I used them a lot when I was little and then for some, I like lost them in a way. And I just, <laughs> it, went, it was years without going through them, but um, I found them again. I found them. Woo! <laughs> so I've been going, I've been using those and I realized how helpful they are. It takes away a lot of just like the soreness and the arm pain that, yeah. you know, your regular experience when you're playing five games a weekend, every single weekend straight. So I've been trying to tell myself before a game, whether it's at home or when we're warming up and I'm waiting to go hit on the tee, just going, taking it, clipping into the fence and doing a couple of J bands. And it's been really helping. It's, it's really been helping. So I'm just trying to, I guess, instill that habit. That way I can maintain um, health throughout high school season going into the summer. Gotcha. So, and and just kind of speaking on that, and you talked about the amount of games you can play. Um, so besides that, like, what do you do? It's like, because you play a lot of games, and that's a lot of, you know, on your body and everything, um, not to mention your, you know, mental health, but kind of what are you doing kind of after one of those tournaments? Like, how are you just kind of recovering and relaxing after that? So actually, last night, I tried cryotherapy for the very first time. Okay, really? I went, Yeah, I went with one of my best friends. Uh, there's a really good place in San Diego, and I really liked it. It was refreshing because I've tried ice baths before, and they, you know, they burn. They kind of hurt there <laughs> yeah. for a little bit. But cryotherapy, I was able to have that same recovery, but with, um, like without the pain, I guess. And... Um, but prior to that, because that was my first time, normally I will do ice, 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 ice. You know, the whole thing is like rice is the same rest, ice, compression, elevation. Yeah. I'll always be, I'll like wrap on my arm and some rice, set it up. Um, stretching is very important. I try to stretch, um, about every single day. Okay. That way I, I'm, you know, staying loose, staying comfortable, staying healthy, uh, and yeah, I would say those are the two biggest things. Yeah, and I, just speaking of uh, doing the like the ice bath and everything, I remember my first time doing it, and I, I was trying to be all like tough and everything, but it 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 was it was not fun. Yeah, I'm just not at all. You know, I, I'm gonna agree with you on that. Um, I mean, I'm not saying it doesn't help because I know it, it, it. You know, it does, and a lot of people love it and swear by it. But for me, I'm just like I, I'm right there with you. It was too much for me. Um, but yeah. Um, so next. Um, you know, we're going to go off softball for a minute um, just because we like to showcase and this is kind of a spotlight for you. Um, so kind of what else are, are you doing in your life? Like what else is besides softball? Like is your life got like, because I know you love softball and that, but you're also still a human after that and you got another life. So kind of, you know, take us through like just what, 
uh, a day in life, in the life is of you without softball, you know? Yeah. So I am very involved in my school. Okay. I am the ASB vice president. So I'm working a lot of things, running a lot of things. On yeah, I think I've seen you. I, I think I've seen some of your posts and everything about stuff. Yeah. So I run what's called student Senate and it's basically where teachers will elect certain students from one of their class periods and we'll all meet together and just find ways to share feedback and we can get students input throughout the whole school rather than just a select group. Okay. And then um, besides that, I'm in what's called academic league. And it goes hand in hand with like Stanford smarts, all that, yeah. <laughs> but it's really, it's, it's really fun because I call it nerd trivia, which will compete against other schools and they'll ask us questions in math, science, architecture, literature, geography, and you have to buzz in and say the answer and you can gain points, lose points. And then, um, I'm also becoming really involved in our school's medical pathway. Okay. program so actually we right now we are planning to have a blood drive that will be accessible to all like the whole community yeah that way everyone can come in and it's also good for volunteer hours so those are the things that i'm just really invi- involved with with high school and then when i'm not doing softball i'd say asb and academically takes up my whole entire <laughs> day it sounds like i mean it sounds like that's a lot and it it brings me back. We were uh, we just did another in person interview with uh, two great people. Um, they go to a uh, D three school and they play basketball and softball. And they were talking about the stuff they do. Actually, the the guy he actually helps coach the women's basketball team because he wants to be a, a graduate assistant as soon as he graduates. Um, he wants to he wants to coach. Um, and and she was talking about how she was involved in it. And we just kind of got started talking um, about that. And just you know, it's it's. I think it's so cool, like being involved, especially in like the high school part and like your community. Cause I remember being in high school and just like, you know, whether it was football games, like, you know, we would used to go like, um, what do we call it? Like paint the town, you know, and do stuff like that, you know, just having community around you is really cool. And obviously, and I loved how you put it, you know, it's part of the Stanford smart school stuff. <laughs> Cause uh, yes, it sounds very like you got a lot going on there, but that's awesome though, that you're doing that too, to kind of, kind of levels you out, you know, because you're not so, you know, softball, I know is a, your, your favorite thing, your, what you love to do, and obviously what you're going to school to do and everything. But like you said, you're also going to Stanford. So there there is that thing. Um, so thank you for that. Yeah. So next, um, next, what I really want to talk about is, um, I've been kind of getting into this question with some people lately, um, <clears throat> and I don't think we really talked about this the first time, maybe a little bit, but if you can describe, like, the way – um, and we'll go back to softball, by the way. But if you can describe the way that, like, you feel, whether it's at your tournaments you just had or in your high school team, um, but kind of just the way you feel when you're out there with your team and you're, you know, the moment you like, the moment you hit the grass and you get on that dirt too, like, just kind of explain if you can put that in words, kind of what that feels like for you. Yeah, oh, that's a good question. So the biggest way that I can just put it into words is. You know, when I'm outside of the chalk lines, I have the noises from the crowd. I have the stresses of um, things going on outside of softball, whether it's school or like just like personal stuff, friendships, all that. But the second I step in the box or step on that field, it's like everything just goes silent in the best way possible. It's I feel like I am dialed in. I'm locked in. I feel in a way, like I'm at home, I'm at peace because softball is very stressful. I always say that softball is my therapy, but it's also the reason why (laughs) sometimes I'm like, what the heck is going on in my life? But the second that I am in the box or I'm behind the plate or I'm catching a pitcher, it's like, I just, I feel right where I belong. Yeah. I feel like I am meant to be there. And I enjoy every bit of it. I enjoy the stresses of when it's um, bottom of the seventh inning, bases loaded, two outs, we're up yeah. by one. It's you know it's stressful, but I absolutely love it. It's addicting in a way. It's what's addicting is the feeling of the ball coming off the bat, the feeling of throwing a girl out, the feeling of 
um, your pitcher just coming up with a clutch strikeout and everyone losing their minds. <laughs> it's all just a thrill. Everything is addicting to me. Awesome. Well, you got me ready to go play now. So, <laughs> but yeah, I, I love the way you put that in there because some people have, but I like, I just think you put it so beautifully because each person's going to feel this a certain way, you know, about it. And I love the way that you put that um, for that because, you know, we've, um, we did an in-person interview at a, a, well, it's in Birmingham, Alabama. So it's about two hours where I'm from, but we drove there, um, last week and, uh, we were at a high school basketball game and this high school program is known that they've won state championships. They've nationally ranked all this stuff. And so they're like, everybody wants to beat them all the time. You know, they're rivals and they, you know, so it's always pressure, you know, it's crowd crazy. Everybody wants to beat them. And I was talking to, um, one of the players, he's a junior, got a ton of offers already from D1 schools, and his dad's the coach. And he was just talking about, like, what his dad has been telling him lately is just to just to remember, like, that not everybody gets to do this, you know. Like, to have fun. Like, I mean, yeah, obviously, like, you got you got this future that's coming up. You're going to be going somewhere. But right now, like, this is where, you know, be where your feet are kind of thing. I was just about to add on yes. and say, be where your feet are, especially because I, I just, I feel so blessed to be where I am. God's given me so much and he's given me just this amazing opportunity to play at such a high level. And sometimes I feel like I take that for granted. So I'll have to take a step back and like you said, you know, be where my feet are and just be in the moment. And that also goes back to kind of what we were talking about earlier, where it's like, oh, you're at the fields all day, but you have to take it one game at a time. Yes, yeah. You know, just being in the moment, being present right there. Yeah. And, I, and that's why I love that. And what you said, cause it kind of brought me back to that. Um, but yeah, I loved, I loved how you explained that. And, you know, so last thing here, I'll mention, you know, obviously you're going to Stanford after your high school uh, career, um, PAC 12, you know, um, and, you know, we've talked to some PAC 12 people, like, I think the PAC, it's going to be pretty loaded, you know, coming up. Like there are some, there's some, there's already talent there. You know, my brother and I actually were talking about this the other day. I'm um, actually last night about, just that. I mean, obviously we're in the South, so we're in like the SEC country, you know, but yeah. um, I've did a lot of, you know, talking to people, research, like it's going to be, it's going to be some good competition when you get there. And I think like, especially people your age that are, are like freshmen right now, or when you get there, I think that's going to be really good. And may, maybe if you can speak on that, because I know, you know, obviously you're already committed to Stanford to so kind of speak on that, like the competition level and how you're ready for that. I'm just, I'm so excited. I mean, Stanford is on the rise. Um, I always hear like um, NCAA interviews and everyone's talking about just how Stanford is the one of the, one of the teams to watch this year, especially yeah. in the Pac-12. They're they, the team to watch. Um, you know, they're going to be real competitors. And that just, that really gets me fired up. That really gets yeah. me going super happy because um, for travel, when we're playing teams where they have 22 girls and 20, all 22 of them are going somewhere D1. Yeah. That, I love that so much. When I see a girl that's um, like, uh, like going to ASU or Oregon or somewhere in the Pac-12 and they try and steal on me um, and they challenge <laughs> me. I love that so much because it's a way for me to kind of um, learn to step up and be in that environment yes. with other girls that I'm going to challenge them in the same way that they're going to challenge me. So it's just that real competition because I'm a competitor. Um, sometimes I can be too competitive. <laughs> we're like, we're starting senior assassin at my high school right now. And everyone's like, Oh, like you're going to be really competitive. I'm like, yeah, I'm going to be competitive. That's who I am. <laughs> so it's just, I'm so excited. The competition just, I want to be pushed. You know, I don't want to settle. I want to be pushed. I want to get better because in my opinion, the only way to get better is to get pushed out of your comfort zone yes, to learn yes. to adapt. Definitely. So I want to be forced to push out of my comfort zone to where I can grow mentally, physically in every aspect of life. Awesome. I love that. I love that. And yeah, um, and I can tell just by the way you talk, what the com kind of competitor you are, like talking about you like being challenged. And I, and I love that because the, to me, and I say this a lot, there is no, and you said it yourself, like there is no better way to grow, you know, than being pushed and challenged. So I love that you said that. And yeah, this was fun. Uh, thank you so much. Obviously, we'll talk again in a couple of weeks um, to kind of see where you're at again. So thank you again for your time tonight and have a good night. It was, it was, a, it was a pleasure talking to you tonight. Thank you so much. I had a great time. Have a great night. You too. Thank you.